Some people think that shopping at a thrift store for lingerie is gross, but, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. I wonder how many people have worn this thong before, and it looks a little crusty, too. We're different from other couples because we do things that others don't. When we do our showers together, it's strictly two minutes. There's no hanky-panky at all. A two-for-one type deal. We just get in and out so that we can serve our energy, our money. 26-year-old Carissa and 33-year-old Rick Perrin's extreme bathroom routine saves them hundreds of dollars each year on water, electricity, and toiletries. All right, hon, I'm ready for some suds. Rick uses the suds for my hair on his hair. Thank you. So that it's like two for one on the shampoo. Got some more, I need some more. One bottle of shampoo lasts us like eight months between the both of us. Yeah, we have a minute left. We actually share the razor. Uh, first, she'll shave under her armpits, and I'll actually shave my face. After a while, this will get dull. We actually sharpen it by rubbing it up and down on the denim jeans. It'll last several months instead of just, you know, a couple weeks. We probably save like $200 at least in razors because one packet of razors is like $25 sometimes. Time's up. By keeping their joint speed shower to just two minutes, the parents have sliced their monthly water bills in half. Deodorant, we actually share that too. And we're only allowed one wipe per armpit. And so when we do that, it can serve deodorant. We share our toothbrush so we don't have to buy another toothbrush. We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. There you go. Date night at the parents means calculating utility usage. Do you have the percentages on the gas? While keeping separate bank accounts is a regular practice in many marriages, there's nothing common about the way Rick and Carissa split their expenses. Even though this might seem a little boring to some people, we actually love it because we're really competitive and we get into it. And whoever saves the most has bragging rights for the rest of the month. The parents plan to save a dollar on every major life event to come. Nervous? Yeah, should be okay. We're basically looking for the cheapest deal that we can possibly get. I mean, we're gonna be dead, so might as well, right? Right. Rick and I had this idea. We want to just have one burial, one funeral, one everything. Oh. If he dies first, because he's older and he's a guy, then we can bury him and then just exhume him when I die and then bury me with him. And that way, it's just one casket, one everything. It just makes more sense. Can we do that? It's a very weird request to exhume a loved one and then place the new dead person in with that casket. Do you have any big enough to fit two of us? Well, you just have to be on top of each other. OK, that'd probably work. They're very cheap. It's new to me that someone would have that request to, to dig their loved one up and be placed in there with them. There are going to be charges for exhumation. You've got to hire professionals to dig the grave to get you out. Can we crunch the numbers and look at all of our options? We sure can. OK. By skipping the embalming process and stripping the cheapest casket down to its bare bones minimum, the parents have arranged two funerals for half the price of one. So if we pay you cash, can you give us a cash I'm discount? Kidding. I'm really excited because we finally settled on a coffin. And we're just going to share one. And he let us put a deposit down. The price is locked. We're good to go. I plan to put the spark back in our relationship by surprising Vic with a romantic evening. I'm going to go all out with my full-on body makeover. The typical lady spends hundreds of dollars in the salon doing their hair, their waxing. All right, if you want to just jump up here, put your head at this end of the table. OK. But I'm going to find a way to spend under $100 for my makeover. So I brought my own waxing supplies. So can you make it $30 if I use the strips? Well, we had you booked for the full leg wax, and that's a $65 appointment. So you can't knock you down, down the price, the please. When she walked in, she looked like every other normal person walking in the door. Like, she looks like she can actually afford our services. Ah! Ow! It hurts. Ow! Can I get a discount for pain? Oh, I definitely don't think it works like that. Ow! <laughs>
Okay, so it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put some um, little oil on your legs to get any excess wax off, and then some cooling cream so it kind of calms the pain. Okay, great. So I'm gonna get my hair done, and I brought my weave with me. So these are clip-on extensions, and I'd like you to put them on me. Okay. So I'll just pay the service fee. So is this all the hair that you brought with you? Because it's not gonna be enough for your entire head. I was thinking maybe if you have extra hair laying around, I could use it on my head. Um, the only hair that we would have in the salon right now is stuff that we've taken out of other people's head and we're gonna throw it away. Well, you're gonna throw it anyway, so why not put it on my head? So I'm gonna grab my manager. Um, My Hi. name is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I'm the manager here at the salon. How can I help you? I want to know if I can use your extra hair that you're going to throw away anyway. Um, they are just one-time applications, and unfortunately, we are not able to do that. Um, it is, it's not sanitary for us to do that. But I'm so willing to take the risk. Unfortunately, I cannot. We can definitely lower the price for you. We can lower it to 50 from 75. Okay, great. Thank you Thanks, so much. Jessica. Have a great one. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I got a little bit of a discount, so it brought it down to $50. Being in the service industry, you definitely come across some crazy people with crazy expectations, but she was by far, like, out there. <laughs> Buying lingerie in the thrift store is a great way to spice things up in the bedroom. Some people think that shopping at a thrift store for lingerie is gross, but, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. I wonder how many people have worn this thong before, and it looks a little crusty, too. Cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's a little big. I see this woman come out of the fitting room in lingerie to each his own. I said, okay, who am I to judge? What in the world? Okay. Oh. <sighs> Honestly, I like that one better than the other one. Would I buy lingerie in a, in a thrift store? Depending on, no, I wouldn't, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. I really like this one. I love that one. Oh, yeah. That one's cute. Isn't it? I think that's the best one you've had on. That's really pretty. Yeah, I would take that one. How much is this? The tag's on the back, actually. Oh, I'm okay. not sure. Sure. $2.99? $2.99 is a little out of my price range. So oh, okay. let's say this is really nice. Oh, it's $3.99. Okay. So if I get two of these, if I buy both, would you lower down the price for me? I mean, we really we really don't do that, but I mean, I guess I could give you like a dollar off coupon or something right. if that would work. Dollar off the haggling? Holy crap. I I wouldn't have gone there. I don't think people should go into thrift stores looking for a bargain and asking for more. This so teddy and the robe will save yeah. my marriage. <laughs> well, if it's gonna save I'm... your marriage, uh, I'll give you $2 off. My husband's gonna love this. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really don't like making bargains, but she had a good story, I guess, about trying to save her marriage, so. With $5 spent on secondhand lingerie, Apple's total cost for her makeover comes to $85, well under her $100 budget. I'm gonna remind him why we got married in the first place. Hi, Hi. honey. How you doing? Good. What's going on? What do you think? <laughs> wow. I planned a special night for us. You never do this. 
I like your hair. It's a little different. Yeah, there's some extensions in there. Some are actually falling off, so let me clip it back on. <laughs> Tonight was a really good step into bringing the romance a little, little bit back into our relationship again. It's, it's been a while since we've actually had some one-on-one -on -one time, so anything, you know, any time together is, is gonna be a good time. This evening shows that you don't have to break the bank in order to show how much you love that special someone in your life. <laughs> New York City dating is very competitive. The women expect to be wined and dined. I'm Matt Nagin, and I consider myself one of the cheapest dates in New York. Matt's salary leaves him with $1,000 a month for discretionary spending. But he's not about to part with his cash for romance. So I have four different jars that comprise my major expenses. Laundry jar transport jar, phone jar. I like to get my coins right from the source. My laundry coins come from the laundromat. My transport cards come from Metro cards I found on the subway platform. I love dating, but I do have one cardinal rule, which is try not to spend any more money than is in your love jar. Out of all four boys, for some reason, he just got the cheap jean. So a lot of my friends like to spend big money on dry cleaning. But with me, I only like to do laundry when it's an absolute necessity. I got this spray bottle. It's just water in here. What I'm going to do is put a little soap in there. This classy soap. You mix in a little bit of soap and shake it up a little bit. The most dangerous area are the pits because it's just a body odor that can emanate. What I like to do in a situation like this, just spray it a little bit down, a little soap and water, and just mix it around. You know, it just feels comfortable. Spray a little bit here. I always have high hopes when I go on a date. While most New York bachelors spend around $100 on a dinner date, Matt Nagin is determined not to spend a penny. My friend's setting me up. I've heard she's really cute, really friendly, and open-minded. So I'm going to have to be resourceful. We got a bunch of bottles of wine, but they're, they're still perfectly functional. There's nothing wrong with them. Matt has been known, one of his signature moves is when he's out to dinner, he'll bring a bottle of pre-made wine in his pocket. You mix a little bit of, of a red and a white, it, com it combines into a very refreshing rosé. You know, when the waiter comes to ask for a drink order, he'll send the waiter away, and he'll pull out a bottle. They're two different brands, but you can't really tell the difference. So I happen to live next to a funeral parlor. Every day, I see people going in there, and later in the day, the manager or funeral director will get rid of his flowers. I'm gonna snag a couple of flowers, and she won't know the difference. I mean, flowers are flowers, okay? Matt's free flower score saves him $30 off the cost of a basic bouquet. I heard that she expects a really nice, high-end date, and I, I wanna go all out. So I'm gonna get some free samples from the supermarket, just put it all together in a little picnic. Leave some for the public. Is it all right? Ask management. Can I get one more muffin, please? Matt will do anything to save a penny. How many do you have? I got like 25 or something. But... Oh my God! I never seen a guy take so many free samples. Got those flowers on 14th Street. After for a sample. Yes, I did. I know. I, they were they were in the garbage, and I I was. I have a hot date. I'm just trying to impress it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With dead person's flowers and munched up muffins. And this is I don't think it's gonna go so well. No, I, I think it's the thought that counts. Well. Oh my God. 
I'm ready for my date, and I'm sure it's gonna be a big success. I have a friend, and he thought that there would be some kind of love connection between me and, and Matt, so he offered to set us up on a date. Hi. Hi. I'm Leela. I'm Matt, so Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I got you these flowers. Oh, thank you. No worries. Matt's really nice. He's a really sweet guy. Um, he did bring me flowers, which were really nice. Wow, that's a nice dress you oh, have on thank there. Thank you so much. Very um, flattering. Thank you very Thanks. much. As soon as you sit down in these places, they bring out some chips and salsa. And then by, by the time they're ready to take the main course, we've skedaddled. I think it's time we go. Are we not going to order food? Let's go. Get your stuff. It's OK. Get the flowers. Tonight, I've only had chips and salsa and, and a half a glass of water. So. Never. He's never uh, paid for a dinner. You don't have to spend a dime to provide a world-class entertainment experience. I don't know what I'll do without you. Oh. All right, we're going to dance. I don't know what I'll do. You know what? I Maybe we should go. Should we go? Yeah. Let's go. A little bit more. There were a few moments where it got a bit awkward, but I think I smoothed over those edges. I don't know. So I really want to impress Leela and take her on an upscale dinner cruise. But that can cost as much as $200 per person. This is the dinner cruise? Yes, it's the Staten Island Ferry. The great thing about this ferry is you get the same experience as the dinner cruise. You get a tour of the New York Harbor for free. This is a rosé, OK? Uh, I made it myself. I really am all set. Thank you. When I go on a date, I like to bring some of my own free samples. You know what? I we'll share that plate, okay? And I have. There's actually there's two. Okay. You did bring two. And if she wants to nibble, well, she's got a whole variety of choices. No, I don't want that. Why would you think this is a good date idea? This is too weird for me. So get up and let's go outside. And why don't we look at a view or something? Mm. I think Layla really dug me, but she thought I was a little weird. The date was definitely weird. I didn't have dinner. I probably won't go out with him again, but at least it's a great adventure to tell my friends. Matt can be so cheap. I'm, I'm genuinely worried that he will never find love. Some rosé? No. I, I just figure, don't put any money out there if you don't have to. A lot of guys in New York, they wine and dine. They're throwing out the platinum card. No. That's not how I roll. I got the discount club card, and that's if you're lucky. New York City! That's weird. Extreme cheapskate Stephanie Rivers takes advantage of her job as a flight attendant to save money. She's using a layover in Atlanta as an opportunity to visit with her long-distance boyfriend, Jimmy. Hey, sweetie. I want to see him more often, but I don't want to spend more money. So if I can see him without spending money, that's the perfect date. So what's the plans for today? I know I told you we'd be going golfing or doing something that you like to do, but I think you're going to like this place. It's the Unclaimed Baggage Center. Wow. The Unclaimed Baggage Center is like the mecca of lost and found. They might have some wedding, wedding stuff. Wow, well, you're being a little bit presumptuous, ain't you, about uh, thinking why you need to? I didn't ask you to buy. I didn't even ask you to marry me. Are you asking me to marry you? Is that what's going no, on? No, I'm gonna take, wait for you, you take, to do it. You taking me down here to see the tuxes? I'm just letting you know what the requirements okay, are. This is the requirement for me then. It has to be if you find a damn wedding dress down here at this place, they gonna have to have a tuxedo too, and we is on. I drop down and propose to you right there. I'm sure we can find a ring. What? We could do all dun, this right dun, now. Dun, dun. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I got a feeling I'm gonna regret this. The 40,000 square foot unclaimed baggage center is located in Scottsboro, Alabama. I'm excited, we're here. Yeah. And with over a million deeply discounted items, it is the ultimate lost and found. 
What did you do to have people to help you? You get it at a discount. So now you want help too? Wedding bands. You know, so most of them are men. You don't know why would they off their fingers? It's a good point. Don't you ever lose your damn ring. So we're looking for engagement rings? I'm looking for a $75 diamond ring. Can you help me? Now, we're going to have to come off the pocketbook a little bit for a diamond ring. Let's see what your cheapest one looks like. You know, we've heard different stories of how we end up with diamond rings, whether somebody packed it in a suitcase, maybe for a surprise proposal, or they set it down in the lavatory and it, you know, fell off during flight and it ended up in Lost and Found. Um, I like this one. Let's look at that one. You like one. this one? This one is 1434 That's What do you think of that? Cute. Too small for him. Small. Too small as far as the diamond size? No, the, the ring itself. <laughs> oh, this. I think he wants something a little larger awesome. for you. That's not what this I meant. This is <laughs> antique ring, and it's only $230. What do you okay. think about that? Oh, uh, no, we'd have to have this one resized. Well, let's keep your options open, because just about everybody has to have their ring sized. Sizing that costs, and then if you add that into the price, then we really didn't get that good of a deal. So let's look at all the rings that fit my finger that are in my price range. OK. okay. That one's going to be small. You want to try that one on? A little snug. OK. Yeah, let's try this one. Yeah. Let's check out this price. $196.99. Wow. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Oh, and that looks that like a little so crown real. on my finger. Is that the absolute bottom price? Or can we get, like, a, a weekday discount or something? <laughs> um, I can do 10% off of this one <gasps> right here. So I can give you 10% off. This ring. Wow, you're killing me. <laughs> wow. That's a good deal. Okay, um, so you'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. Okay. We'll take care of that. <laughs> I went in there kind of naive, thinking that, you know, Stephanie came in here looking for a good deal. But the next minute, Stephanie is waving a ring in front of my face, and I'm being ganged up by a gang of ladies. You have wedding dresses here? We do. Wedding dresses and men's suits are just on down the aisle. OK, thanks, ladies. OK, all right. Dun, dun. Ta-da! Formal wear. That's what it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it's a tuxedo in there. Oh, that is my size. 42? Yeah. 55 bucks for a tux, you can't beat it. It's probably just a showpiece. It's not we for sale. We need help. I really like this dress. I thought we wasn't doing nothing formal. Well, that's a gorgeous dress. How much is it? The dress is $230. $230. Mm -hmm. This one's 49 That's really <gasps> nice. Has like a train. It? That's formal, though. We're still... Um, I mean, where are you planning on wearing this at? Well... I think if we go to the, the Justice of Peach, you're going to get a whole lot of gawkers and just like, what's wrong with her versus... Well, you know what? Well, how about this? You were going to go to the Justice of the Peace. Well, what if we did a wedding here? You know, I've seen people come in and buy engagement rings and buy wedding dresses, and I've always wanted to see it just come together and actually happen in the store. <sighs> I think so. I think we should do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the state of Alabama is home to nearly 13,000 churches and countless ordained ministers, two of whom work at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. You may now kiss the bride. It's not what I envisioned for us, but hey, that's my baby. She got what she wanted, and I'm happy. Jimmy and I said, I do, at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. It was just a bargain that was too good to pass up. So this is what you brought me here for today. For less than 500 bucks, we just got married. I thought it was really romantic to get married at the pizza parlor where we had our first date at. And what's really great is that we had gotten a $50 gift certificate to it. So not only would it be romantic and fun, it would be cheap and frugal, too. <laughs> I don't know why she's trying to be cheap with her wedding. It's her second wedding, so she should have it be nice. No, that's not it. I found it. Oh, the same dress I wore from your father. Isn't it beautiful? Look. My mom wants to wear the wedding dress from her first wedding. Let's look and see if I can find my veil, OK? The marriage did not end well. I was really hoping to use my dress for my first wedding simply because I did not want to spend any more money on a dress. Do you think we can alter it? But unfortunately, it didn't quite fit. This is what we can use it for. It's called a garter belt. And they charge about 10 to $20 for these. <sighs> Whatever.
what I'm doing is becoming a minister for uh, my mother's wedding so that she uh, doesn't have to pay any money to go hire somebody. She said it's free to do it online, and it is. Now I'm a minister. By keeping the officiating in the family, Anne Marie is saving $263. Thank you. The average cost of a minister to perform a marriage. But with prices ranging from $300 to $3,000, it is the wedding bands that she worries will break the bank. Thanks. Let me see. Help me look for you. Can I show you guys anything? We're looking for wedding rings for our wedding. Can These I are the only rings that we have right now. When it comes to styles of rings, I'm not picky whatsoever. I wanted a non-traditional ring, because frankly, they're just cheaper. It fits, it fits, it fits, it fits. It fits, yeah. So I'm going to bid on yours, and you're going to bid on mine? Yes. You guys are going to have us bid on these as a set? Um, I'm pretty sure everything is going to go individually. individually. I don't want to go anywhere over $60 on either one of the rings. Just fine with me. Me going around to the back, that way they don't know who they're spitting. Because sometimes there is a little bit of jealousy going on in there. Number 59, 59, thank you. 1977 Cowboy, all repro. All right, 80, 80. My bidding strategy is never, ever go with the first bid that the auctioneer puts out. Wait for him to go down. And then, if I really win it, I'll just go. 35, I'm really excited when we spent $120 on our wedding rings. We've had the best date night ever tonight, so I'm really excited. My mom and Peter are having their wedding at a pizza parlor. It's good pizza. OK, guys, come on, let's go. Just come not on. that fancy for a wedding. Philip, come on, move it over. I need a really big aisle and a I space thought space. it was really romantic to get married at the place we had our first date at. I'll see, I'll you. see you. Love you. Love you, too. OK. And use our $50 gift certificate. <laughs> There we go. Here, help me put on the garter belt. Here's the ring. Here you go. The wedding, it's unique. Definitely a first for us yes. at a pizza parlor. Mm -hmm. We are gathered here today to witness the holy matrimony of Anne Marie Jackson and Peter Crestenson. Do you, Peter Crestenson, take Anne Marie Jackson to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Anne Marie Jackson, do you take Peter Crestenson to be your husband? I do. Put the rings on each other's fingers. By the power invested in me by the internet, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I was a little dubious when I saw that the wedding was going to be at a pizza parlor. I thought it would have been at a church. We're Catholic, so. I get a slice of red velvet, please. Red velvet, absolutely. There you go. We were in the restaurant having dinner tonight and noticed that there was a wedding going on, so we really didn't feel like we were crashing. We just went over and joined the fun. One, two, three. <laughs> These flowers appear very dead. There you go. <laughs> I've never caught a gardener before. I'm going to keep it as a souvenir. It was everything I can imagine and more, right? It's too fun. 
My mom gave me rice she found from her dumpster diving. I put it in the pizza oven. It dried off and it worked out pretty good. Yeah! I'm hoping my mom loosens up with being cheap. She's probably not gonna change at all. She's not gonna change just because she got hitched. So I'm happy if she's happy.